nasopharyngeal, and oropharyngeal swabs. In the following video, we are going to show you the steps necessary to collect a nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal swabs. This video includes preparation for sample collection, donning personal protective equipment, taking a nasopharyngeal swab, taking the oropharyngeal swab, removal and disposal of personal protective equipment. There are three points to highlight prior to demonstration of these techniques. Specimens should be collected within five to seven days of symptom onset, with a maximum of 10 days from patients meeting the case definition. Only sterile Dacron or rayon swabs with a plastic shafts or flocked swabs should be used. Do not use calcium alginate swabs or swabs with wooden sticks. Preparation for sample collection. We will start the procedure with hand washing. Materials for personal protective equipment. Next, the necessary materials for personal protection. Disposable protective gown, gloves, N95 mask, protective face shield or goggles, 70% alcohol or gel alcohol, hand soap, paper towel, and biological waste bucket. We continue with the step to put on the gown. The mask. The protective face shield. And the gloves. Nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal swabs. Materials needed. It is important to verify that you have all the necessary materials. Sample collection tubes, swabs, transport bag, marker, paper towel, 70% alcohol or gel alcohol, container for biological waste. Open the package and remove the viral transport tube and label it with all patient information, including the date of sample collection. Ask the patient to remove the mask and place it on a tissue or paper towel. Then ask the patient to blow her nose and dispose the tissue in the bio-waste bag. Offer alcohol gel before continuing with the procedure. Position the patient into a comfortable position and if possible, to rest his head against a wall to ensure not movement during the sample collection process. Remove the nasopharyngeal swab from its packaging and insert the swab into the nose parallel to the palate, not upward. Until resistance is encountered or the distance is equivalent to that from to ear to the nostril of the patient, indicating contact with the nasopharynx. Noted that closing the eyes and or tearing is a normal response to the insertion of the swab. Gently rub and roll the swab. Leave the swab in place for several seconds to absorb secretions before removing. Place the swab immediately into a tube containing the viral transport medium. Remove the oropharyngeal swab from its packaging and insert it into the posterior pharyngeal and tonsillar areas. Rub the swab over both tonsil abutments and posterior oropharynx, avoiding touching the tongue, teeth, and gums. Remove the swab and place immediately into a tube containing the viral transport medium. A septically cut or brake applicator stick off near the tip to permit tightening of the cap. Once properly closed, place it in the transport bag. Personal protection equipment removal and disposal. When collection is complete, dispose all personal protective equipment. The protective face shield must be properly disinfected for its next use. Gloves must be removed without touching the outer surface as shown below. All disposable, contaminated material must be discarded in the red bio-waste bag. Once the entire procedure is completed, hand washing should be performed.